with Escape at Dannemora, you shot in a prison. You were you were there, uh, surrounded by people who were living this life. What? How did that sort of inform you? Um, how how scary was was that? It was very intense to feel the energy and see all the dynamics. I mean, even briefly at these prisons, because we shot at five different prisons. So what happens at the end of the day when, when you're driving back to wherever you're staying? Well, and also shooting up north, it was very cold. It's mm -hmm. like winter, it's a gray town. The middle of the town is the prison, this huge wall. And there's a depressing quality. Mm -hmm. There's a tension going on everywhere, I think. And then gaining weight for that part and wanting her to look a certain way and feeling that was the right choice for me to make. But then going into the world and having people's reaction, it's like a scientific experiment. People would look at you like, oh, oh, I used to love you. Yeah, are you oh. still acting? Oh or, my gosh. Or people oh, just no, wouldn't whoa. really, <laughs> even, whoa. and in the life I was living, the way people perceived me was as an invisible person. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're just kind of a, matronly, dumpy, middle-aged lady, so you just don't exist or something mm -hmm. in the world. I'm uptight. I'm not comfortable. I take baths in the dark. I've always been modest since I was a little girl, changed behind a chair. But I really wanted to do these love scenes. Like, I'm gonna gain a bunch of weight, and my boobs are gonna be giant, and my t stomach, and no, I'm not. Actually, this is the first love scene. I'm not wearing any body makeup. I don't care that you have real sunlight and it's high def and, or whatever, you know, this is all a nightmare, but not really, because I really want to say, who's allowed to be sexual now in this culture? Mm. When are women allowed to be sexual? What body type do we have to mm -hmm. have? And this lady is more comfortable with her sexuality than I am. Mm. And what does it feel like to be in a character that is mm -hmm. willing to embrace that? I want to touch on, on the act uh, really quickly. Um, I believe I, I heard you say this is one where your children said, Ooh, don't, don't take this, mm -hmm. uh, don't take this role. Um, why and what made you say, I gotta do this? Well, it's based on this story uh, of Dee Dee and Gypsy Blanchard and Dee Dee has Munchausen by proxy. So she's having her daughter treated for all these medical conditions she doesn't have. So I told my kids, oh, you know, I might do this story. It's about Dee Dee and Gypsy Blanchard and they'd both seen the documentary. No, don't do it. Mom, don't do it, please. I'm like, you guys know I'm an actor. <laughs> I'm not the kind of person who comes home like, take your medicine. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? They're like, it's just so scary. And it is yep. because I think you give up a lot to give birth. Your teeth go, your eyes get worse, it's physically difficult, and nature's built it so that you would die for your child, mm -hmm. and you would do anything to avoid their pain, and that's natural. And when a parent is the opposite, or would inflict pain on their child, mm. it feels like such a perversion of our mm. natural self. Sure. Mm. And that's that was weird. I mean, I was very clear with myself, like, you are leaving Dee Dee at work <laughs> every day. Like, yeah. everything about her. I'm definitely seeing also a lot more women on the set. Oh, yeah. I definitely. I see women boom operators and mm -hmm. DPs, mm -hmm. and I'm seeing, yeah. I'm working with a lot more women directors. And I think that space has given me a little more strength as an actor in myself. There will be times where creatively, I really disagree with someone's choice for the first time in my life. And I'm not saying young actors should do this because you can learn a lot by trying to step outside your comfort zone. But I said to somebody, I'm not doing it like that. <laughs> and because of this and this and this and this, and I had tons of reasons and the scene before and the scene after and this, and this is the choice that I made. It's a conscious choice. No, mm -hmm. I don't want to hear, we'll shoot it both ways. And don't yeah. worry, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what that means. You know yeah. what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you get your take, but I'm, I'm doing yeah. my take. It's yes. so important because like we're in a society, so, so often as women in every field, I imagine uh, that, you know, the idea of pleasing or being, you know, mm -hmm. amenable mm -hmm. and doing what you're told mm -hmm. in a sense and getting along is so paramount. And so that breaking that down and being like, we're going to collaborate here. This yeah. is going to be about the fact that I'm here as a whole artist and we're collaborating. I'm not 
just obeying. But I mean, I, I collaborate. I don't not listen. But sometimes there are things that are very clear to me, and I want that respected. I think that's that's the place that we're going. Mm-hmm.